harmonizers, I have a little bit of a surprise, a little unplanned surprise. I was browsing on Facebook and uh, saw this little cutie pop up that was looking for a home and she's got very similar bloodlines to Shiny, who I really love how she moves. I really love her reigning greeting. I love how smart she is. And so I saw this little one and thought she would be a great horse to hopefully do the futurity with in four years when she's older. She's only a few months old now. And uh, I'm gonna share with you guys her sire and dam information and you guys can guess what her name is based on her registered parents and her registered name and I'll tell you guys at the end. But she just came uh, last night. I'm pretty excited about her being here and uh, excited for her to grow up here and, and hopefully have a good future ahead. So take a look at our first little session together of just establishing some basics. So this is super exciting. This is her getting off the trailer. So when they were getting her in the trailer, they said that there were halters on them already. And so we gave them a lead rope and they said, well, they're not really halter broke. Like they're kind of feral type things. Like they, they have gotten vaccines, but they're not um, super well handled or anything like that. So we were expecting her to be a little bit uh, you know, kind of wild and especially the way that they're kind of corralling the other ones in there. They did say that um, this little girl was the best at getting on the trailer and the best at being handled. And then as they kind of like pull her off and she kind of comes down, she's actually doing really well. Like she actually doesn't seem super upset. And then she actually leads really, really nicely following Annalise into the barn. Like we were all prepared with the gates and everything to have it all shut off and to potentially shoo her kind of or corral her into the barn. But she led really, really well. So I'm not really sure what they were talking about. Uh, maybe this one got more handling or maybe this one is just naturally more friendly. I'm not really sure. But this is very unusual for a horse to lead this well if they haven't already been trained. So um, I don't know. She definitely seems like she's had leading training before. So you're pretty happy with that. So she's getting to meet Shiny in the barn. That's Shiny on the other side there. So we thought that they would go out she would go out with my girls because uh, Shiny's three and Secret's only two and Alicia's three. So though we don't have any other baby horses on the farm, we have other young horses on the farm. So we thought that would be our first choice to see how things go. And uh, we wanted to put some blankets on her just in case, um, you know, she wasn't using the shelter or something. So we put her into her blankets, which she was totally good at. And I'm leading Shiny out. And uh, Annalise has... Uh, little misses there that's going out to the field and the hope would be that they're nice and calm and relaxed together and that they'll get along and obviously when you're putting two horses out together you want to make sure that you supervise them and that you can intervene if it's looking like they're not going to get along because any kicks or anything like that could really mean some damage especially to the young little growing bones you want to be extra careful once the horses get a little bit older if they get kicked or something although you don't want you know horses getting beat up it's not usually the end of the world if they kick each other and things like that their their bones are a little tougher stronger but if an adult horse is kicking a little baby that's gonna have some damage for sure so unfortunately we've had a lot of rain at the farm so you can see there's a lot of puddles and it's it's pretty wet but they do have their dry shelters and they do have some dry area over to the other side so we let her out in the field and so she actually ends up kind of calling and uh, waiting for Shiny to come in. So I let Shiny go there and they uh, the baby ends up kind of sticking to Shiny right away and going over to the water trough. But Shiny, you can see, gives her a little bit of a warning and says, you know, stay back. And uh, the baby listens, which is really good because sometimes they can be a little bit oblivious. So she listens. So we're watching closely like a hawk. To see how they're getting along and uh, and if not then separate them so they they actually got along pretty well for a good bit and then this is the next day bringing the baby in and shiny ended up corralling her a little bit too much it was making me nervous so we ended up putting her out with a, a different horse which you'll get to see later on in this video we put her out with a another horse that's two years old that she can go out with which is also um, a pony horse so it's not super big horse 
and this is bringing her in so she had a little nervous poop when she's coming in that's mac on the cross ties there he just finished up a workout and bringing her in i was going to put her on these cross ties and then i didn't and then there was another horse in the arena that was coming over as you can see he comes running over so i'm like i will actually go put you on the other side so that way you don't have your butt facing the arena so i'm just pulling off her blankets here and uh, getting her settled and just want to teach her a little bit about cross ties we're not doing a whole lot of big work with her just doing some basic handling stuff want to make sure that she's comfortable getting her blankets on and off comfortable being on the cross ties i've got the lead rope still done up there so that way if i need to intervene and unclip the cross ties to help her out that i have the rope there easy to help her and uh, they are a little bit kind of holding her head up but she naturally kind of has her head up anyway so it's not like she would want to have her head lower necessarily so she's just learning how to stand with the pressure on either side there as you can see she did a little bit of calling there so she's definitely nervous and i can't use cookies for her yet because she doesn't like cookies yet so i'm trying to see if there's a spot where she enjoys being scratched and so she ends up kind of trying to turn to the side there so I'm just going to politely reposition her so she doesn't end up twisted around on the cross ties and show her how to stand on them. So this is all new stuff that she has to learn how to do. And if I can make it a nice positive experience, a short experience, I'm just doing a little bit of touching, a little bit of rubbing, and I just wanted to pick up each of her feet one at a time. I want to make sure that before I have the farrier up to do her hooves that I can pick up her feet going all the way around her. And to start with on day one, we're just picking them up and putting them down. Definitely don't want to stress her out any more than what she is. You can imagine that um, she, this is all new for her. She doesn't know where she is and that this is all kind of different stuff going on. She's having another little nervous poo there. So if I can keep the encounters short and positive and try as best I can to show her that I'm trying to comfort her. And then we're also trying to get her bonded with one of the horses here. I really think when they're babies, they just need time to grow up and, and learn healthy social habits out with the herd and out with other horses. And then they just need to have some basic skills with people. So literally, that's all I did on the cross ties with her. She did a fantastic job. No point, you know, spending more time on that. May as well get her, you know, outside and she can be closer to her little buddy and we'll just do a little bit of leading stuff outside as well just to make sure that she's comfortable with all of that sort of stuff and then uh, and then she can go back out to her buddy afterwards and we'll also try giving her a little bit of grain and getting her used to that sort of stuff so as we come out here she's calling to her buddy so she's actually really closely bonded with her little two-year-old friend Beasley they're they're definitely little buddies and uh, Beasley's really taking a liking to her too which is great that she has a friend that's going to be really close to her and, and kind of take care of her a little bit too. So that's Beasley coming over to the fence on the other side there, that the brown and white pinto. So Beasley was actually born on our farm two years ago. Uh, she was a surprise baby because when I bought Kalila, I didn't know that she was pregnant and surprise came Beasley. And Beasley is now owned by one of the coaches at our farm. So she's still here. So Beasley's her buddy and Beasley's over there making sure that she knows that she's okay. So I'm just doing some leading work with her and we're going to do a little bit of picking up her feet out here as well. And the goal of the session is to just make sure she's comfortable with people and just do a really short session that we can touch her all over. And then that way when the farrier comes up or if the vet's coming up, then we know that she can be handled safely. And really she's doing phenomenal to be leading this well as a little baby. She's doing so well and picking up her feet and everything like that. Uh, so I think they must have done some work with her already, even though they, they said that they didn't. They said that they're kind of normally kind of more untouched type of horses. She definitely acts like she's been handled. Otherwise, she's just a super great natured foal, which can be the case as well, but would be very, very unusual. Um, I'm trying to think back to when I had Secret as a baby and her videos would be up on the YouTube channel as well. And Secret's now two years old, so her videos would be two years ago. And Secret did do very well her first time 
uh, going different places with me. She led around really well and was pretty good to handle. So I guess sometimes they are, you know, really good natured, but she definitely acts like she's had some handling. So I wouldn't be surprised if they actually did do a few things with her. So I'm just practicing uh, rubbing her all over, picking up her little feet. And I do know she had handling in the extent of she did have her vaccine. She has been dewormed. So I know those pieces, but uh, she hadn't done, um, I'm told she hadn't done any of the other type of stuff. So we're just practicing walking around, making sure it's not a fluke that she's leaving all of these places. And she's doing fantastic. So I don't need to employ any of the other kind of strategies that we can do with young horses to help them lead and stuff like that because she's going really well off of just the halter and you can see I was able to back her up a few steps and no issues there and I'm just rubbing her all over seeing if I can find anywhere that she likes having a little bit of a rub spa trying to make sure that it's an okay time for her as well being out here and she's working in the pen that's right beside where Beasley is so she gets to be near her buddy so we're trying to make it as least stressful as possible because it's already hard enough for her being a little baby coming over here. So when we had um, the foals born at our farm, we did natural weaning and uh, tried to keep it as low stress as possible for them. So I brought her back in the barn and put her blankets back on and offered her some optimal. So this is a vitamin mineral balancer and it's good for growing horses. We give it to our other horses as well. It's good for horses that aren't on a lot of grass. And our horses are all on hay right now. There aren't, they don't have access to grass, but uh, it's got vitamins and minerals and it's a nice concentrated feed. So they don't have to eat a lot of it to get the vitamins and minerals. You can see for the most part, she's too stressed to eat a lot of her food, but she samples a little bit of it anyways. And she will be getting dinner as well every day. And hopefully she'll get more relaxed with the whole eating thing and get used to it. And we'll probably start to feed her in the field side by side with her buddy so that way she can see her friend eating and that will probably encourage her to eat as well I want to make sure she's getting all the correct vitamins and minerals and proteins so that way she can grow healthy and strong you don't want to give them too much protein and overfeed them that they grow too fast um, and their bones can't kind of catch up then you can end up with some other problems but we want to make sure that she has enough nutrients that she can um, grow properly so that's all really possible and you can see she's looking around. She's not too interested in the food. So I'm not going to force the issue with her. I'm going to try to give her a little bit of stuff. But if she's not willing to eat, then I'm going to just move on. Because remember, the, the goal is to keep this a nice positive session for her. So I'm not going to force feed her or anything like that. Uh, she's having a few little bites and staying pretty happy, which is pretty good. But not too interested in eating. Now the moment you guys have all been waiting for, I'm going to share with you guys the papers of her parents and do a little name reveal. Alright, so she's out of Shining Little Bunny and by Major Little Roper. And she's got the smart little uh, Lena line, which is very similar to Shiny. So her barn name is Bunny and we're waiting to find out her registered name, but hoping that it will be Shine Little Bunny. But we'll find out. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and let me know what you think.